My name is Andrew Rogers and my research focuses on the impact of invasive species on cavity nesting birds on the island of Tasmania. We want to know what the impact the invasives are having on Tasmania because there are seven introduced species on the island. Um, and while we know quite a bit about the interactions between the threatened species and, and other cavity nesting individuals, um, we don't know a lot about the impacts that these introduced birds are having. Um, so my work is looking at trying to model and predict the impact that these introduced birds are going to have on the native bird species. So there are seven introduced bird species in Tasmania. Um, some common ones are the, the Indian mina, the common mina, uh, the European starling, and then there's a suite of Australian mainland native species that have been moved to Tasmania relatively recently. And those include common birds like the laughing kookaburra and the long-billed corella and the gala. Um, but these birds just haven't been studied in the context of you know, their, their Tasmanian range. And so my work is trying to predict what impacts they're likely to have so that we can prioritize research and management in the future. The best example of invasive species impacts we have in Tasmania are the introduced uh, sugar glider on the threatened swift parrot. Um, but invasive birds such as the common starling are also found competing with swift parrots for their nest boxes. However, this interaction hasn't been studied in a systematic way for the starling or any of the other introduced birds. So we're trying to look at, can we predict what the interactions are going to be using species traits which are related to the breeding niche of the species. The size of the entrance of the cavity limits which species can use which tree hollows for their nesting sites. And so we look at the overlap in that preference for the entire community and then we can estimate how intense the competition would be for that resource between any two given species. So then we compare how the invasive species ecological niche overlaps with the threatened species ecological niche um, and we can sort of prior see which species are more likely to compete in the field and then we can prioritize their research and management. So the preliminary results from the, the ecological niche overlap models uh, accurately predict the interactions between the common starling and species like the swift parrot. Uh, so we think they're, they're pretty accurate and they reflect what's happening in the field. Um, and we're collaborating with a bunch of people from ANU who are doing on the ground f field work in Tasmania working with the threatened species to confirm whether or not our modeled interactions are likely to be what's occurring um, in the wild. Um, and one of the interesting results is that there's a lot of strong overlap in species ecological niche that just hasn't been studied. So over half of the species in the model that we predict would be strongly competing for, for nesting sites have no research done on them. So there's a lot more work to do for the cavity breeding community in Tasmania. And this is an important area for future management and research.